turn my lavalier microphone, which is under my sweatshirt right here on. Check, check, it should be working. All right, howdy. So the last video I uploaded, people responded well. It was the day in the studio. Um, I talk about digital assets and we kind of just hung out. I talked a lot and I mentioned some stuff about how I make money and videography, photography. Um, so I thought I'd make this video. You can tell from the title how I make my money, how I support myself and the skills and different attributes within social media and, you know, creative content as well as painting that me personally have found success and only in the last year have I kind of transitioned to a full-time artist and you know the different compartments and avenues I, I uh, uh, or acquire revenue so this is very specific to me and I thought maybe some insight might help people out but it's not you know it's just just for my experience and what I've been through and what I do so if you've been watching the videos for a while obviously you know I'm a painter you know I consider myself a fine artist that makes YouTube videos even though sometimes I've said this before that I feel like a YouTuber YouTuber making art videos, but you know, to put myself in a box, I consider myself a fine artist, I consider myself a videographer, a photographer, you know, a YouTuber, a, a director of filmography and cinematography, I consider myself a graphic designer, kind of a bunch of different things, you know, don't want to put myself in a box, but I, I do a whole bunch in painting with a paintbrush, I don't make as much money as people think, you know, I do sell commissions. Uh, I do traditional oil painting and big portraits of dogs. And that's kind of where people buy commission work. They commission me to make these paintings. I do obviously the big stencils and the crazy wacky faces. That's just for me. Um, and I'm working up to, to, a, to a show, but all the originals, you know, I don't really sell. I'm working on making prints, everyone who's asking. But so, you know, a lot of my revenue as now this full-time artist from transition a year ago actually comes from this bad boy, you know, a video camera and through social media, through the wonderful platforms of YouTube and Instagram. And so we need some context, right? I'm a person of context and I'll give you some examples for exactly how I make the money. But before I talk about like different clients or whatever, it kind of all starts with the video camera. And I've been making videos since I was in middle school, you know, and I've acquired skills over the years to use video cameras manually, understand the in and outs of it, you know, become proficient. And I, a huge part of this is the, the post-production using editing softwares. I use Premiere, you know, I use all the Adobe Suites, Photoshop. And so kind of these skills I've built have allowed me and opened doors to not only make money through making content for myself and, you know, document my paintings in an interesting way, but also, um, you know, these skills other people want and will pay for, you know, for, for their products or for their brand or for their company. So, you know, it all starts with kind of the skills I've built up and because I'm obsessed with cinematography and photography with video camera. And you know, so I've said this in the last video, you know, people who ask me how to build a following on YouTube or Instagram and stuff like that, not even that I have huge ones, that's kind of my first, you know, answer. And my the only advice I can give through my experience, obviously, is, you know, develop, you know, social media skills. And that's another blanket statement that I love to make. But, you know, photo editing, video editing, you could use your iPhone, it doesn't need to be a super expensive camera get proficient, spend a month looking at YouTube videos, how to edit videos, how to do other things. You know, I'm lucky because I love to paint and I've progressed in painting, but also I've progressed in videography and cinematography. So I've kind of melded those two. That's the advice, solid, simple advice that I can give. You know, if you really are serious about doing social media stuff, I think these skills are vital. And I know that these things are expensive. It costs money. Cameras are expensive. You could shoot things on your iPhone, but then, you know, you need a computer to edit. You know, the software is expensive. And I've just developed these things, these tools over, you know, six or seven years. I was making videos with a GoPro back in 2013 with graffiti. And, you know, every year since then, I'm 24 now, I've just continued to do these videos because I love them. And I never got paid the hundreds of videos that I did. I just did it for me. And now I'm finally in a position where I can monetize um, and generate revenue from the skills um, that I've obtained. And yes, to obtain the knowledge in order to practice these skills is hard. And that's why the sponsor of today's video kind of coincides exactly with what I'm talking about, Skillshare. You know, if you're seriously interested in 
developing social media and content creative skills and want professional guidance, you know, Skillshare is a perfect, fantastic platform. Skillshare is an amazing online community with thousands of inspiring classes in all creative professions like the ones I'm talking about in this video, you know, photography, film, and video. A class I would recommend, again, for the exact things we're talking about in this video is Instagram Worthy Photography, Shoot, Edit, and Share by Brandon Wolfel. And you know, Instagram, is a vital platform for business, for freelance, for branding. Skillshare classes are kind of a combination between video lessons and class projects. And at less than $10 a month, you know, the membership is extremely affordable, especially if you're considering taking in-person classes in all these different disciplines. It really is a wonderful online community. The top industry professionals are leading all of these classes. You've seen them sponsor me in the past and they love to support creators. So they're giving the first 500 people who click the link in my description two free months of Skillshare Premium. It's a really epic opportunity. Don't miss out. First 500 people by clicking the link in the description. Thanks again, Skillshare, for sponsoring the video. So other revenue streams besides the sponsored videos like Skillshare, I get YouTube revenue just strictly from views and having advertisements on them through Google. That's pretty consistent every single month and the more views you get, obviously the more money there is. But something I don't really talk or post about, which I've been talking about now, is the freelance videography and photography. And you know, the last six months have been really great. I've been lucky enough to pick and choose kind of the things I do for people and it's been all my buddies. A bunch of my friends have different clothing brands, different businesses, merchandise. So I've been doing a bunch of different photo shoots for product shots of clothing for content for their website or Instagram, different like Kickstarter projects, things like that. And it's really epic and they're my homies and I wanna support them. And they obviously pay me um, and I'm able to deliver them high quality content. But you know, it's really fun. I've been doing that a lot recently. Um, and even more epic is I recently got back from a trip to Peru where my buddy flew me out you know, to take photos and shoot a documentary on his amazing clothing brand that he's starting out in Peru. It's really epic. That's what I'm gonna leave you with, this super epic Peru vlog where you could see in the moment, run and gun, you know, videography, shooting photos. It was such an awesome trip. I'm not gonna post that epic documentary on my main channel. I'm really pumped about it. Not only am I getting paid for it, but like I said, I love cinematography and editing. So it's a little passion project. On my Instagram, I'll post it and you'll be able to see it somewhere um, through the ether of the internet. But that's all I got. Let me know what you thought about this video. Enjoy the Peru vlog. See you in the next video. Recording, this is the day of the big shoot. Ruben's going to get his camera, but we're sitting here Locked and loaded at 7 a.m. We're going to Augustine's house, the production designer. We're doing hair and makeup this morning and then immediately going to different locations about 8.30, shooting the Reuben Oliver collection. Wow. We got the van, the whole team. Ryan's got her makeup on. Yes. Is it? Right there. Oh yeah. Shooting that magic. We're here, amazing location. Oh my God. We're in the heart of Lima right now, birds flying.
New location shot. Sam, where are we? We're doing some street shooting, urban. Marcelo's in the in the squad right now. Hello. Say hi to the camera, guys. Shoots over. Shoots over. Shoots over. Great success. Uh, we hit three locations. Woo! The pr production designer, directors, beautiful people, models, yeah. models, makeup over here, our driver, and we're driving over there. We're finished with the shoot today. It's about 3 p.m. For those who care, we're file dumping. It was about, you know, 300 gigs of a thousand plus photos and all 4K files. Um, but for those who also care about lighting and, and camera nerds, now it's sunny. But this morning it was just all fog and um, overcast, which for shooting is just the best possible scenario for conditions because it's one giant soft box. The light in all directions is just super soft and juicy. So we got extremely lucky and the photos came out amazing. Tomorrow, Ruben and I, we're going to Huacachina, which is the oasis of Peru. This is like sand dune place we're driving and we're gonna get some more shots for Ruben Oliver and some garments and just do some more vlogging. Absolute chilling, so we'll see you there tomorrow. Ruben drank too much last night. He's gotta release the Kraken. We're waiting for El Baño. Uh, but we got the whip. Whip city. Whip city. We're picking up some clothes and we're headed to the desert. I am 10 pounds lighter. I'm out here in dreamland with my camera. We had to stop on the side of the road because Ruben had another explosion down under. It just so happened to be this epic beach, so it worked out. And it's just amazing. Look at that. Can you see it? So we're chilling out here for a few minutes and then back on the road. Sam, where are we? We are at Huacachina. Huacachina! Wow, wow, wow. We're climbing up this huge sand dune. This is the oasis, Huacachina. We're going to get some shots uh, of this dune. The sun's going down, but it's just epic. We're close, 50% to the top. Whew. Day, me and Ruben are together and we're going to the factory one more time because they're delivering all the new garments is that correct that is correct my friend so we're, like I don't think we're gonna have overstock but so let's say 500 grams yes. 500 grams with 50 kilos we'll have 100 units Ruben Oliver bags, packing up. <laughs> Lost count? Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, <laughs> we lost. <laughs> no, you're at 200. And 50. Yeah. I don't remember. 300, right? Uh huh. Right? We were 250. Yeah, I think we're at 300. Because of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Each stack is 100. All right, this is kind of like our last day in Peru, and we're in the hotel shooting the uh, the Rubens documentary scene. He's kind of like the driving force, obviously, of the documentary. So we're taking our sweet time in a controlled environment to get all the sound bites for the mini documentary, and it's super exciting. We're going to mic him up. Got this beautiful light coming in, soft. That's what we want. And I hope you will watch the mini documentary because it's going to be really epic. And it's going to be really legit and it's going to give a lot of context to this whole trip and what Ruben's doing with Ruben Oliver and the whole brand um, and bringing it to New York City. It's pretty great. So it's going to be super sexy. You should go check it out. I don't know if it's up by now or not. I don't know when I'm going to edit this video, but it's really exciting.